Alrighty, I suppose we'll get started, eh? How's it going, everybody? This is gonna be fun. Fun day. Fun day. Where uh, people have been asking, at least one person asked anyway, why are we at San Joaquin? Well, it's because Sean Johnson asked us to come here. Don't you know? When Sean Johnson asks you to come to San Joaquin Delta, which obviously we go to San Joaquin Delta. I mean, that's a given. Uh, it's completely, completely fun, though. Who's in the chat? Panescu, Christian, last first. Scarlet King, David Skates, Sins, Joseph, Alex Gibbs, last first again. Cooper, <laughs> Idiots Animated, uh, Case Rogers, TTV, Sh Jason, Bobby, Idiots again. Ethan, I'm going through, I'm, I'm looking. Fat Seagull, Kiwi Boy, uh, Sean again, Lou Nick. Remember you from some streams? I remember everybody. I remember everybody who's ever been here. That's how it works. That's it. It's just every time someone says something in the chat, it's like it's like a little wave goes to my brain. The little BZ wave. People have wondered what to call it, you know, just this miracle of science. How does he do it? How does he remember all of these names? 40,000 people strong nearly. They call it the BZ wave. It's just instant memory bank here. Obviously. Cooper, hi, Zodi, Kilo's here. Little regard to Congo River. If you grind XP, you can surprise everyone with the extravagant you the mighty manga. I mean, I hope so. I doubt it though. Deacon, Francisco, Ethan. Save me in the game multiple. Hey, well, that's good. Bobby Hill. YG. What a, was this location always here? Was this location always here? What are we talking about? Let's open up a friends only room. Feel free to join in, obviously. We're gonna be fishing for a number of random things today. I brought stuff to, to go after everything. So that's what we're gonna do. It is a nice morning though. I have my carp rods. I figured we could try to fish for carp rods. Or uh, yeah, yeah, I figured we could try to fish for carp rods. Um. I th I'm trying to remember the days because the weather obviously plays a factor and I am trying to remember the best days for fishing different stuff obviously it's very good in the morning right now so we could go try for some striped bass but I thought I would throw this uh, topwater lure real quick see if we can get into some steelhead because I remember being able to catch steelhead somewhere between these two points or something like that anyway I thought we'd give it a try we're just gonna throw a buzz bait on top of the water with a shad attached, a chatched. Can I add you as a friend? At the moment, Cooper, um, and, and just like as a public announcement to everyone, because I know I get friend requests all the time, um, I'm only accepting people who are above level 50. Um, just because for the most part, today is obviously not a good example, but for the most part, we're fishing in areas that are above level 50. And if I fill my friend um, friends list with people under level 50, then the people who are level 50 and above can't join in. Then I end up having to delete people to make room for them anyway. So I just I just said, you know what? That's the that's the make or break point. Got to get to level 50 before you can be on the friends list. <clears throat> I'm from Portugal. Sorry, but what is the best way to get to level 75? I'm at 68. Oh, there's a Chinook. Best way to get to level 75 from 68. Uh, probably buying DLCs or something like that. Which I don't recommend. But that's probably the best way to do it. Because that there is no like great way to go about it. You just need to catch a lot of fish. You need to catch a lot of fish. And you need to stop thinking about it and just do it. Everyone wants some sort of magical way to get to the top. There is no magical way. Just catch lots of fish. Catch as many fish as you can. Arapaima, big fish, fighter sharks. Sit around in the Amazon and just fish for as many of those big fish as you can. Look at this Chinook. Just dancing away. Dancing, flipping away, flip dancing. Get a crazy kid. Get a crazy kid. Little Chinook salmon, 16 pounds. He's a beauty. He's a beauty. Look at them teethers. Good deal. Well, a thousand bucks. I'll keep them. Well, I'll keep them. 
they all I see. What? 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 What are you, what are you talking about? Alex? But you're level 59. Ah, oh, level 59 on console, eh? That's pretty cool. All right, Fishers, Fisher, Fishers. L Gray is here. Started playing Rush Fishing 4. Thank you for the start. They really helped me out. Get it going. Use your videos a lot. Fishing Planet as well. Hey, right on. What do we got here? I missed it. I missed it when I grabbed it. Anyone see it? Anyone make out what it was? It's flipping around. I can't tell. I can't tell. Boy, that sunrise is beautiful, though. Not very Halloween-y, but it sure is beautiful. That looks like another Chinook. I was hoping we'd get into some Steelhead, but I do sort of remember being... Like, the Steelhead were biting a lot more in the evening of one of the days. So maybe we'll have to uh, fish for other stuff while we wait. Let's go to the, uh, to the, to the old dam here. The old dam here and try to catch some, uh... I remember using medium spoons for the striped bass around here, so I think we'll throw that out. Just for old time's sake. I'm not sure if we'll do it or not. But, uh, we'll give it a... Give it a go. Another San Joaquin Delta stream. Another. When was the last San Joaquin Delta stream? It had to be quite a while ago. But Jacksonator, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that those videos helped you out. I knew when I first started Russian fishing for, I was like, okay, seriously, I need someone to like tell me what to do because I am at a loss right now. And you progress so slowly in that game, I feel, that it's it, you you sort of sit there wondering if you're doing something wrong. So I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I was hopefully able to uh, help out a little bit in that way. What's your opinion on the Everglades? I think the Everglades is a lot of fun. I think if you're coming from uh, Emerald Lake, you're probably, you get to the Everglades and you realize like, holy crap, this is a lot of work. I used to just be able to sit here and wait for a bite to come and reel it in. And now I'm constantly casting out and doing stuff. Um, and you know what? Unless you're willing to put in all that work, you're probably not going to make much more money than Emerald Lake. And I realize people kind of figured that out as they uh, were following along with the ESS. Was that, uh, you know, uh, unless you're able to fill up uh, 100 pounds of, of bass or something like that, you're really not going to make more money than uh, Emerald Lake. But you're you're probably going to lose out on, on Bay Coins and trying to switch days on Emerald more. It's kind of, it's just a different ball game. Just a different way of doing it. What's the best farm? Oh, obviously, the Nile, the Nile Perch, Tiger Fish, all that. I, I kind of make it a, 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 a combo sort of deal. You fish for Tiger Fish, Goliath Tiger Fish, and then when you're bored and or they're not biting, you switch to fishing for Nile Perch, and then you go back to the Tiger Fish. I make it a big circle. I, I'd say that's probably the best farm. You should do that. Glorious mustache blowing the wind. Ooh, wow. Sweet musk of an outdoorsman. <laughs> Am I, 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 uh, I trimmed it. I wanted it to, to be a little bit uh, more streamlined, you see. I wanted to run faster. But this is not working. We need to change this up or something. That or the striped bass just aren't biting. Aren't biting right now. Let's find out. Should we try a swim bait? Do you think they'd go after a swim bait? We also have a crankbait. I don't know how deep it is. I guess we'll find out. This is a six foot crankbait. We'll find out how deep it is because I, it makes me feel like it's only like five feet deep around here. And if we're not catching any striped bass in the next two minutes, then by George, we're just going to have to, uh, this might be a long way in if it's not six foot deep here. Rat. Immediately hit the bottom. Dang. I went 10 out. Oh, thank you. Change your tackle load indicator back to basic. Um, because there was no reason to keep it on the three bars. If we create all of our uh, rods and reels to be max drag, then what's the point of seeing the rod reel online? It's just taking up more of the screen. You know what I mean? Honestly, if you if you know every one of your rods is, is max drag, then you don't even need that whole meter over there other than to help you out when you're getting a bite or something like that. 
New free and optimized. I'm already love for two weeks. Only play one. Well, that's awesome, Distraught. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're moving on. Oh, clear musket, 61 pounds. Wow, nice gray. Rod, what's your opinion on the Clifford Glades? I already answered that. Freshwater Wyatt. Yeah, me. All right, nothing on the crank. Okay, we're going to change it up. Um, I do want to... You know, I haven't fished here for a long time. So I figured, let's try it out. Let's give it a go, huh? Who's going to stop me? No one. So we're going to throw out... We got... We got... Uh, I, so we got a citrus pop, pop up boiler here. We're going to throw this out. Because I'm not sure... Might be a really bad idea. We might have needed to make some sort of mix or something like that. But if not, we should be fine. I'm going to throw on sweet. See, I used to fish for the carp out here with sweet corn is the thing. I think anyway. I'm trying to remember if it was corn or sweet corn. Let's see. Uh, what do they got here? They got corn, level 34, and, and peas. Well, let's fish with peas. Maybe the peas are the way to do it. Do we have smaller hooks on? That might be something as well. Yeah, we should probably put on smaller hooks. I don't know how big the carp are here. But let's put on six lot hooks and see how that does. See how that does. Same weeping willow carps. Try the medium spoon. I, I'll I'll try. I did bring that, uh, Ryan. I'll have to try that in a, in a little bit. Are you gonna fish your sturgeon today? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I figured I, I haven't been here for a long time, so I figured I would uh, try some different things out before I just went straight to uh, straight to the sturgeon. I mean, if, if you have fished at San Joaquin or uh, you have San Joaquin, I, uh, I forgot that I turned up the beeper on this one. Let's uh, put this down. Audio. We're going to turn this back down to 10. Usually where I have it. What do we got here? Woo! He's a Carperton. Carperton on the peas. He likes the peas. So you only catch the common carp here, but you can get up to a unique common carp. So if you are looking forward to getting into some carp in action, uh, well, you might be able to go to... Yeah, look at that. Common carp is one of the most beautiful carp in the game. Honestly. The... I mean, look at the... Look how realistic that looks. It's beautiful. Uh, there's two fish in this game that I think actually look really good. It's the the gar, the spotted gar and stuff like that, and um, and the common carp. I think they're two of the most beautifully rendered fish in the game. Random factoid from me, <laughs> opinion, what have you. The Chiefs are losing. Is that what you said? I I don't know, Alex. I guess just uh, start fishing, eh? Fishing will never cheat on you. Can you try a narrow spoon or no? Is that too small? It might be too small for what I have, narrow spoon, but we'll definitely try a medium spoon. All right, two trophy common carp back to back. So this morning is not too bad for uh, for common carp. Have to remember that if you ever uh, get San Joaquin and are looking forward to catching some carp, and it's this morning that I'm on right now, you. Uh, Get right into them. Of course, I'd get this wrong. Get the wrong rod out. They're going to peas, too. I mean, we have boilies on the other one, which is what we use usually at Weeping Willows, but don't need to use it because they're going for peas. Though they do like the boilie as well. 44, move, trying to move to level 50. Yeah, catch more sturgeon. Catch lots of sturgeon. Currently driving home from catching sturgeon. Hey, you're doing sturgeon in real life, Daniel Jones. <laughs> I'd much rather be doing that. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Yeah, uh, Daniel Jones actually posted. I'm pretty sure, right? Right? I'm not. I'm not crazy, right? Posted a uh, picture of a seven foot sturgeon that they uh, that actually swam away before they were able to get some good photos of it. That was super cool to see. Pet food or fly? I don't know. Yeah. Currently trying to recapture all your fish rock too. Hey, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have this new uh, we have this new checklist, right? That keeps track of all the fish we've caught at every map. Super cool because uh, you know a lot of places that you you fished at in the past. You know, it's like 
what am I what am I ever gonna do? Uh, I'm never gonna go back there unless you know some reason the chat wants me to go back there. But this checklist, man, I mean, uh, that was one thing that was actually getting me kind of excited about coming back to San Joaquin. Was thinking, oh, I could I could fill out that checklist. So pretty cool, pretty cool. What's my favorite fish to catch in the game? Oh, I don't know. Tarpon, probably. I enjoy tarpon. Top water tarpon. That's a good one. Do you live on the Kansas side of Kansas City? I do. Yeah, I do live on the Kansas side. Ah. We need to fish for some catfish. Fish for them, catfish. Hello, buddy. How's it going, Sean? Well, I hope it's Sean. Maybe it's Chan. Like Jackie Chan. There are catfish, are, aren't there? Yeah, white catfish. Is this the only lake in Fishing Planet with white catfish? I'm curious. I'm curious. The ghost carp is gorgeous. It's 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 nice and white, but it's not as pretty as the common carp. Plus, ghost carp are usually different colors and stuff, and the only one in the game is white, so. Sorry if I say it's a little lackluster. You planning to do another River Monsters episode? Absolutely. Everyone keeps asking me like I'm I'm done doing these series. Like I'm never going to be playing, you know, another uh, beginner series episode. I'm never going to do another River Monsters episode. You realize that the entire reason we're not doing the regular series is because it's the BZ Hub Halloween extravaganza. I hate to say it, but there's two times of the year where the regular series that I do for 10 months out of the year come to a stop. And that's October, and that's January. We got the BZ Up Halloween Extravaganza, and we have January, which is gaming month. And we get to play other games, we get to play lots of games. Um, so, you know, if, if you're looking for the next River Monsters episode or the next Beginner Series episode, it's going to be coming out in November. Um, if it's January, and you're looking forward to the same things, well, you better be looking forward to February, because you're not going to see it in January. Um, it's just, it's just how it works, guys. It's just how it works. Boy, the bites have come to a stop, though. Huh? Huh? What's the deal? What's the deal? We must have scared them away. Scared them away. Scared them silly. All right, well, you guys have talked about the medium spoon. Uh, in fact, weren't we just trying the medium spoon? We tried the medium spoon to begin with, didn't we? Pretty sure we were. Pretty sure we were. Um, but we'll try it again. Just for you guys. Just for you guys, so you can't tell me that I didn't do it. Pretty sure I did, though. Pretty sure I did, though. Throwing her out. I should skip time, but how long should I skip it? Uh, you should skip time for more than an hour if you're trying to uh, get the fish to start biting again. Don't need surgery on your knee. They said there's nothing to. Hey, right on, Mr. Mammoth. That's awesome. I mean, in a way, it stinks when your knee hurts and you kind of think to yourself, like, God, I hope that, you know, they have something that'll fix it up and get me, like, brand new. And then when you hear, like, no, you don't need surgery, like they did when, when they uh, scoped out my knee, uh, you're kind of like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I don't need surgery. I guess that's kind of good, but, like, are you gonna fix my knee then? Like, why is it still, like, I can't walk on it, so is there something you can do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, uh, but I'm glad that you don't need it. I mean, that is gonna be really good for you. Hey, as our first striped bass. Right on, little 12 pounder. This is actually a pretty good little, little model as well, I think. Look at how the light glistens off the scales. It's just, oh, it's just glossy, beautiful. Look at the fins move. It's a good looking fish, is it not? Am I crazy? What do you guys think? It's pretty. You guys know it. Don't lie to me. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a, a Dr. Pepper right now. Diet Dr. Pepper. Gulp, gulp, gulp. They spam the Discord with invite links. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, but Squish got it. Squish, squish flints on the case. Do you think we can switch to the six slot? We caught that little 12 pounder. Caught the little 12 pounder. 
we try a bigger one now? Every unique species of catfish? I, I suppose so. Yeah, between all of us, there's a special challenge to catch all the unique catfish. California exclusive. Wow. Well, I started fishing. Hey, right on, Tiago. Glad to hear it. Oh, we might have got hit there. I was reading the chat. I was just hoping that uh, if I kept doing this, they would hook themselves, so. Do you still play Hunter Call of the Wild? Uh, every, every once in a while, I kind of lost uh, interest in it, to be honest. They have made the game less fun for casual players and more fun for, like, diehards who put in the time to catch or to, to kill, like, a thousand deer to for, like, the one chance that, uh, that a special fish might spawn. Like, that's not fun. <laughs> that's just stupid. That's just, that's just arcadey. You're basically just like one of those old people at the uh, casinos, just like doing a slot machine over and over again. Ah, shot all the deer in a herd. Now I'll wait and see if a special one spawns. Ah, drat. It didn't spawn. Okay, well, I'll shoot them all again. It's, you're just, it's a slot machine. Every time. And that's just, that's not fun to me. And like diamonds aren't that cool anymore because... You know, the other content creators started putting out videos where they're, like, put killing, like, four or five diamonds in one video. And it's like, okay, so you guys made that boring, too. I think, I think honestly, the other content creators kind of killed the game. They made what used to be something fun. That and the cheating. They made something that used to be fun and, so, and kind of rare. Uh, a real, like, something that happened quite often. It didn't seem very uh, rare anymore. Nice little small mouth. And uh, and then the cheating. Like, it wasn't fun. I got, one of my favorite things to do when the, when the game was out was going into, like, online games and seeing what other people had on their maps, maybe getting a diamond or something like that that, that they hadn't found. Like, that was, that was kind of some fun stuff. And then you get in there, and there's some dude zipping around the map at lightning speed with unlimited ammo just blasting away everything they see and it's like dude what are you doing you're ruining this game then you have other people who are like chatting like hey check this out and then they spawn like a hundred diamond fallow deer which we saw on a live stream one time it's like guys you're ruining the game so, I don't know. Call of the Wild's just in a hole right now. I really hope they dig themselves out, but it's just it's just sad where it's at right now. It's sad where it's at right now. Little late, try twitching. What's what we've been doing, you crazy guy? You guys telling me that I should be using the medium spoon, even though we already did. And now you're telling me that I should be twitching, even though we've already been twitching. Got your first butterfly peacock bass over eight pounds. IRL, Tiago says. Wowie zowie. All right, I'm going back to the four up. The uh, the six ot just doesn't weigh enough. It's six seventh ounce. I don't have a heavier version of it, so unfortunately, it just doesn't doesn't flow as good as the other one. We're going back and fishing plan today for the bait coins. Why did you do that, fat seagull? Fat seagull. You know, there's nothing you can do about it now, so you better be happy. That, that, you know what? I'm going to be positive about it. Just because I know there's nothing you can do about it, even if I made a big deal about it. So you know what? Good for you. Good job, Fat Seagull. You did it. You got big coins? Nice. Good work. How often do you stream? Well, we say at the end of every single video that we put out... Ooh, that looked like a decent fish. At the end of every single video we put out, I say, hey, if you liked it, why don't you like the video and subscribe? And if you want to join us at our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, this sounds rehearsed because I've said it a million times, then why don't you do so? So hopefully, if you've seen any number of our videos, you should know how often we stream and when. But if you're new... Then there you go. Look at him jump out of the water. He's a freaking free willy. Come here, willy. A little Chinook salmon. Well, Chinook salmon, I got you, buddy. Yeah, they like the four-out medium spoon. I mean, they're biting in any way, right? 
They're going for it. They're going for it. And every f lake and level. I don't know, Francisco. I'm going to have to look up how to do it. I, I, I don't know how to do it, and I'm just obviously busy working on stuff, so I'm not... I'm, unless I can just pick it up one day and immediately make it and stuff like that, I'm not going to worry about it. Plus, I mean, I opened this up to friends and stuff to join in, and how many people have joined in to play with me right now? Zero. So what's the point? What if I made a tournament about it? What would it do? Is this a new map you haven't played in a while? No, it's been here for forever. Smallmouth bass, we got him. We got him. How can you catch your first largemouth bass in real life? And go, go anywhere. Get an action figure and glue some hooks onto them and throw them out into the pond. And if the bass is hungry enough, they'll eat it. No, there, they, there are, there are thousands of lures, thousands, hundreds of thousands of bass lures. Pick, pick any one of them up, and and bring it out to a pond and throw it around. The, uh, the market for bass lures is so big because bass will go after darn near anything. Um, and people are always coming out with new stuff because they know they can sell it. Get a worm, put a hook in it, and start throwing it around. You'll, you'll catch a bass. Spinner baits. L. Gray says, "Heck yeah, man! When I was in high school and middle school, that's all I threw. M little spinner baits. Get to a little sp small pond. You'll be catching, catching bass left and right. Even if the ones I was catching were only like one to two pounds. Still fun. You gonna fish for the white catfish? I don't even think I have the gear to fish for the white catfish. To be honest, I think I've only caught it one time." Pretty sure, anyway. Have you ever caught a real fish? Mountain Klein, have you ever checked out our Modern Day Outdoorsman playlist? Huh? Have you? Have you? One of my pet peeves, it's, it's a new thing. One of my pet peeves is people asking me questions for things that I already have videos over. All you have to do is search on the channel. They're all there. Thinking about getting that game. What who what is Rocco what is Rocco talking about? What game? Can't catch steelhead on the map. I swear, do you have any tips for them? You know what? At the moment, I'm thinking that it's uh mostly a weather thing because we were just trying for him and I was catching Chinook salmon. But I do remember it was I think it's an evening. One of the days during the evening is really good for steelhead. So we'll try to figure it out. Fishing master, huh? I'm not sure what fishing master is. The future, I got done watching your video. Yeah, Nate's fishing, I agree. They got some cool stuff, don't they? Cool stuff plan, that's for sure. Is this a beginner series account or not? Nah, nah. What is this dude freaking taking it like six feet away from us? You crazy striped bass. You crazy striped bass, little nine pounder. What's all that over there, huh? Oh, there's a bunch of fish moving over there. What's that about? What's that about? Find out. Come on, spoon. Ever call the catfish at San Joaquin? No, you haven't. Let's see what we can catch over here. First lake largemouth this weekend at Smith Mountain Lake in Virginia. Well, right on, man. Very cool. Randy Harbor, what's up? San Joaquin right now, my key is too small for search, and what should you do? Eat up the uh, XP, I guess. I don't know. Put a smaller hook on so that maybe you can catch some uh, smaller fish. 
smaller sturgeons, you know? Thought we'd try to catch something off the dam here. Oh, there's something moving right there. Or is it water coming off the dam? It's supposed to look like water coming off the dam. What are you? What are you going for? We're going for all sorts of stuff. Like the Mad Eye Buffalo video? Hey, right on. I'm glad you did. I enjoyed making it. Bassmaster Classic 2022. Oh. I gotcha. Yeah, if you're into bass fishing, that's a great game for it. You watch the tarpon buy the literal dollar bill. That'd probably be cheaper than any sort of lures that they uh, make for tarpon. So, much cheaper. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and change the time. Let's go ahead. We're going to move over here. I'm gonna. I don't. I don't uh, use this thing very much anymore. So we're gonna take advantage of it. The beautiful Franken boat. Okay. Frankenfish boat, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, let's go. Top speed, top speed, Franken boat. Go, Franken kayak, go. Yeah, here we go. We're super speed now. Going fast. Corbinator said, to "Use the kayak." Oh my God, I I was. Oh look at us. We're like freaking connected, aren't we? We get it. What is the best bottom rod for level 38? I don't know. Open up the store, go to level 38, and see what it is. Do you think I'm the Fishing Planet store, Ryan Cody? What are you thinking? Still play it, though. Are you mad at you, BZ? No, why would I be mad at you? They're really good, eh? We got two more of them coming out every Friday. That's why I got them. Posted honestly, I didn't think people would enjoy them, so I had them coming out on uh, Fridays. Because usually people don't really watch a lot of videos on Fridays, so I figured if I put them on Friday, then people would, uh, you know, anyone who was interested in them would watch them. But uh, yeah, the next one is the Tyranna Trout. The Tyranna Trout story comes out. Let's try to catch some on this day first, and then on this time. Okay, so gotta remember which rods are here. Spawn sacks, five op barbels hooks. Casting out right here. Yeah, yeah. This one too. Nope, not that one. Here we go. There we go. Alright, only brought two rods, so that's what we're gonna fish with. Come on, sturgeon. Might be a little bit because we're not fishing during the best time, but if we fish during this time, then hopefully catch another one. And I'm not sure if they uh, put in the whole distance thing where you have to cast a certain distance from you yet. So uh, maybe I cast it too close to me anyway. I don't know. You can use about any bottom rod for surgeons. Yeah, and just chase after it. That was how I put it in one of my videos, heck yeah. Video on it. Uh, probably not reeling with Rocco, unfortunately. You're gonna fish for white catfish, probably not. Why? I don't know why I'd spend all that much time fishing after a catfish that weighs like three pounds. Well, there's our first white sturgeon. Light's not going away. 1884 what a great year 198 xp not great actually well, i guess our uh, our rods are pretty strong pretty strong rods for this sort of deal these are uh, made for the amazonian fish we're just catching a little little sturgeon so yeah what's your best lure i don't know depends on what i'm fishing for i suppose thanks for the cayman vid hey good deal joshy the dendrofin, uh, like this, like the story of the dendrofin. Tackle box talk. We got him. We got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-one pounds, starting to go up a little bit, just a little bit, just a tad. 
See if we can uh, manage another one. See if we can manage another one. Oh, where's my chip? Oh, it's gonna raise me up. I'm gonna be outside of the video now. Camera. The camera. Is that there? That's not. That's not too bad. Oh, my hat's not in the frame anymore. Oh well. Can't wait for the other monster fish origins. Oh yeah. Oh good. Lola La Silva, join you another time. Sam Barnes. I, you know, I was just talking about this earlier. I'm only uh, I'm only allowing people level 50 and, and above uh, to be friends at the moment. So if you're under that, unfortunately, you'll just have to keep working up. Finally, it's live stream greetings from Germany. Your videos helped a lot. Bjorn, right on. Well, I'm glad that they're helping you. Her seal head used small minnows for out hook under a bobber at 40 inches. Go off the dock. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Crease of Colorado. Best fish to fish for level five. You know what? I could tell you, but I feel like it would help you more if you just went and watched the BZ Hub Beginner Series, Series 2. And then you could literally watch the video. And then when you're ready to move on, you can just watch the next video and keep going. It'll take you past level 30. So, I, you know, you can ask me what will do good at level five. Or you can just watch those videos and you'll learn what to catch level 5, and level 6, and level 7, and level 8, and level 9, and level 10, all the way up. So just, that's what I would recommend. Yes, you can catch some bass, but that, that would be far better. You keep getting snook instead of the terror tarpon? Boy, do I know that. Boy, do I know that. Alright, we're going to take this in. We could, uh, we could get in the old... Uh, Franken boat, but we're really not reeling in that much. Change the time. Change the time. Dang, it's fine. So one more time. All right. They have some beautiful sunrises here, don't they? What is the other one? Cool. Already going silent and deadly. Oh my goodness gracious. Five dollars. Thank you so much, silent and deadly. Goodness gracious. You're back, boy. <laughs> I thought that said LOL for a second. I'm back, LOL. I was like, what's funny about that? But boy, I like it. We're getting some beeps on this first ride, but it's not going off yet. Yes, the story of the Dendrofin. That's a uh, that is the last story that I have. I have the Tyranno Trout and the Dendrofin. I've I, I you know I've heard lots of different things. That was our that was our biggest sturgeon so far. We haven't had one over fifty yet. Uh, I'm sure we might. I'm sure we might get one. Best lure for bass of the Everglades. You know there, I don't think there is a best one because um, the the fish will get tired of it. So then you have to change lures anyway. So I could say, oh, use the buzzbait or use the walker. Um, but after a little bit, they're going to get tired of it. So then you just move to another lure and then, you know, use the buzzbait, use the walker, use the frog, use the bass jig, whatever you want. Use the spinnerbait. There's tons of lures to use. It's like real life. Bass will go after all sorts of stuff. Look at this guy. Come here, you stinking fish. Look at him. Look, he's spunky. This is going to be our first 50 pounder. 40. Oh, 48! It was close. He was real close. 3,000 bucks. 3,000 buckaroonies. Finally, I have a break from school to watch your stream. Pierre, you're in school right now? Mr. Mammoth, I, I feel like my hopes and dreams of doing Phasmophobia for this year's Halloween extravaganza are, are dwindling. My brother is addicted to World of Warcraft at the moment right now, and he will not bulge. Uh, budge, not bulge. <laughs> no bulging here, budging. He, he will not budge from playing that game. Um, even bringing it up just frustrates him. Why are you asking me? Obviously I'm playing this. Okay, sorry for asking. 
I just thought it would be a fun video for us to play together and have fun and everyone could watch. But no, 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 I realize you have a druid you need to level up. Sorry, bud. So, uh, so yeah, I don't think Phasmophobia is going to happen. I actually have a lot of uh, co-op Halloween games I was looking forward to playing this year, but I don't think it's going to happen. Don't think it's going to happen. So I've been playing a lot of single-player spooky games. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I, I have heard this a couple times. Um, people asking me, when is the update going to come out for Fishing Planet? Well, first off, the video was a Fishing Planet update. I'm giving you an update on things coming to Fishing Planet. It's not like one big update that has all of this stuff. Okay, I realized that people were confused about that, so I thought I would put it out there so you all know. The ocean fishing and the trophy lodges and all this stuff, this isn't coming out in one big update. I was giving you all an update on the things that are coming to Fishing Planet. The trophy lodges were only 10% complete. The ocean fishing was 30% complete uh, with the co-op boats and stuff like that. That's that's this this you know they they were telling us how much they they were uh, you know completed on making it you know what they thought anyway 30% complete. So you know. God, it might be until um, the end of summer before we even see ocean fishing in the game. Who knows? You know, it's uh, it's going to be tough to see, but I'm not sure. I mean, they just put out an update kind of doing these checkboxes and uh, and showing off some new stuff uh, going on in the game. But uh, who knows? Who knows what else is coming out? Favorite place to fish in the game? I don't know. I don't know if I have one. I get bored of all of them, so I, I have to keep switching it up. <clears throat> Big Ollie 2000 bottom rod? I, I don't know, Patrick. I don't remember all the rods. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, you know, that's probably because I spend so much time remembering everyone's names that I just don't have the memory capacity to remember every rod in the game. Um, I realize it's not helpful to a lot of people, but it's just the truth. Sad, the sad truth of it all. Okay, we're gonna switch to here. Because I want to see if we can catch one of those steelhead. I remember catching them on buzzbaits. And by George, I am going to catch one on a buzzbait. And they can't stop me. So, give me one. Give me a steelhead. I'm not sure where they are, but I'm gonna find them. Come here, you. 130 pounds. Nice, tackle box talk. Phasmophobia is sketchy. What's sketchy about it? Come on, fish. Go after the buzzbait. Oh, you have a week off and you caught a few bass yesterday. Very nice. <sighs> You're hunting at the moment in Data? You're hunting in a game called Data? Oh, there was a little fish that I was going to go after, but I scared it away. Yeah, because the world doesn't revolve around you, Creeks of Colorado, and because I don't have a match rod with me, so, you know, sorry I didn't come here with your setup to do exactly what you wanted. What do we catch? What are you? Looks like a striped bass. Come here, striped bass. Get some deer in the freezer. Very nice. Very nice. 12. Nice, nice, nice. Got him. Got him. Come on, steelhead. Come on, steelhead. How's my halo gun going? My halo gun's done. Like, I, I wanted to make a video about it, but... See, I started another gun project, uh, gun stock project on my other channel. 
And uh, I feel like if I put out a Nerf gun project before I finish that project, people are going to get upset with me. So uh, I need to finish the gun stock project before I start doing the Nerf gun project. Oh, thanks, Trick. Fan from Quebec. I love fishing in Quebec. Other side across from you. On the other side across from me, that's where you fish for them? Ah, I got you. That's not where I remember fishing for them. I remember fishing for them all throughout here. But I remember fishing for them in the evening, and I don't remember which evening it was. <laughs> he caught one trying to catch her an uni carp. Interesting. Interesting. Casting all around me. Buzzbait is catching fish, just not the fish we want. You just move my drink over to the left side. Ah, what do we get this time? Ooh, it's pulling out some line there, friend. A little sp Oh! I hate to get ahead of myself. I hate to get ahead of myself. No, I think it's a striped bass. He kind of appeared gray for a second, I thought. Ooh. Am I? No! I don't know, guys! It's a steelhead! What did I say, huh? Do I know my stuff or do I know my stuff? I remember all of your guys' names and I remember how to catch steelhead. Got him. Got him. Lego! 13 pounder! He's a monster! <laughs> He's pretty small. Oh. Man, the model on the steelhead's not great, is it? Kind of blocky, looks like old like Xbox graphics. Well, I mean, honestly, like look at the look at the rod on the left side. Look at the detail on it. Witted's gonna make us go to a private server. Just ruined it for everyone. Just ruined it for everyone. Goodness gracious. But we just caught the steelheads. That's fun. Level 5 vid really helped. Hey, good deal. That's what I made him for. Help people out. Never tried a buzz bait. Well, now you can try it. Lake Trout look worse than the Steelhead in this game? You think so? I guess I haven't caught one in a while. Here you go. Whoa! I did accidentally right-clicked and we hooked up on something. That is hilarious. I literally, like, I, I just literally right-clicked for no reason. For no reason. And I was about to go, oops, and then the meter shot up and we hooked into something. What are the freaking chances? I think we have a striped bass on. Well, not a little bit of line there. A little bit of line there. We haven't gotten anything that big yet. Yeah, it's a striped bass. This guy looks decent, though. Come here, you. Maybe a trophy striped bass? That wouldn't be too bad. Thing about getting back into FS22? Eh, it's not on my mind at the moment. Yeah! Trophy striped bass, boys! Yeah, not bad. I mean, look at the look at the look at the model on this. The light glistens off the scales. The head looks nice. Got some good detail on the face. Got the fins looking good. They wag too, like little wagging fins. That's fun. It's fun fish. And then the steelhead, bleh, complete opposite. It's like, meh. Don't even taste good. 
it hurts, it tastes bad just looking at it. 10 minutes till half time. Reminds you of the lose reel, eh? Ooh, okay. All right. And I got another striped bass. Another striped bass. We're striped bass tastic right now. Fan tabulous. On a European country, what do I do to level up? I I don't understand, guys. Literally, what have we always said? E-E-S-S. -S. What does E-E-S-S -S stand for? Huh? What does it stand for? And why does it stop at San Joaquin? If it stops at San Joaquin, where should you be fishing? Huh? Does it go, oh, San Joaquin, and then go to Mongolia? No. It stops at San Joaquin. Because that is it. That is where it stops. You keep fishing at San Joaquin, you keep making money, and then you go somewhere else when you can go somewhere else. If you're level 47 or level 46, and there's nowhere else for you to go, then what's, what's your question? It's San Joaquin. I don't understand. There's so, con there's so much confusion about this. If you're fishing at San Joaquin, and you don't have anywhere else to go, then where should you be fishing? It's not Emerald Lake. It's not the Everglades. It ain't San Croix. It's San Joaquin. XD Firewolf is here. What's going on? Found to catch all the fish for the bone hook Wednesday. Oh, oh man. Oh, that was a steelhead. Oh, steelhead, bro. You missed it. You missed your chance, Steely. Your freaking steelhead. That would be a fun little uh, Halloween fish. You know how they do like the ogre gar? They could literally make a steelhead that's like head is actually steel. They could just make a bunch of pun fish. You know, I'm not sure what other pun fish there may be. A hammerhead shark, but like the head is actually like a hammer. Um, you know, you could get fun with it. Thank you, Bobby Hill. Fish to the hook yet? Yeah, if you're wondering if I got the fish to the hook, you're just gonna have to hold on till Wednesday. Hayden, how's it going? Done the fish hook mission yet? You wondering, you wondering why we're not fishing at the, uh, at Maku Maku right now, huh? Remember when I said, oh, we're just going to keep having live streams at Maku Maku until we get the fish tooth hook? Well, why aren't we at Maku Maku, huh? Huh? Come on, kids. You got to remember this stuff. I'm like a broken record here repeating myself. Golly. Golly. Nothing wrong with going to Weaving Well for XP and Money too. Psycho Buddha. <laughs> Listen here, buddy Buddha. What level do you get Weeping Willow, huh? What level do you get Weeping Willow? I'll let you know, it's all 50. So what are you gonna do at level 46, 47, Buddha? That's right, gonna be fishing at San Joaquin. You're, you're, you're more psycho than Buddha right now, that's how you sound. Flathead catfish with a literal flathead. There you go. Yeah, like literally flat. Perfectly flat. Maybe it has like a ball on top that's like balancing perfectly. To let you know that it's flat. I'm kidding. That would be stupid. But what else could you do? What else could you do? Did we reach a point where we're not going to catch any more fish? Do you think that's what's going on? Try one cast over on the right, one cast over on the left, and we might have to uh, change time again. Change the time again. 
A unique bull shark, eh? Hey, if they have like big tuna and sailfish and like, uh, you know, marlin and stuff like that, you'd think that a unique bull shark wouldn't be that crazy, right? Like a Goliath grouper or something like that. That'd be cool. Five and a half drum yesterday. Nice. Oh, that was another steelhead. What's up with the steelhead freaking fish? I'm telling you, man, the steelhead are out here. They're out here. They're like adventure. They're out here. You haven't got the Halloween update yet. Why do you have it? I don't have it. What are you talking about? What tells you I have the Halloween update? The fact that we're fishing at San Joaquin for all the normal fish? Ibrahim? Ibrahim Moises. You know, I would spend money in fishing plant, but do a lot more fishing in real life. I understand. I enjoy fishing in real life more than the game, too. Gosh dang, we keep having Steelhead come up, grab it, and then they run off. Yeah, they totally run with their legs. They, they swim off. Um, and then we cast again and they don't come back for it. What's the deal? They're one time in us. Oregon red band trout red band um in Oregon trout's head. <gasps> Perfect, like a little headband. Yeah, see, you're getting it. You get it. Peacock bass with the head of the bass is changed with the head of a peacock. Yes, productions. This is what I like to hear. This is what I like to hear. Creative people coming up with creative ideas. All right, skipping it, because I don't want to wait for that. Let's go, uh, actually, let's go. Where's our, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's our kayak? You got to go in the Frankenfish kayak. Come here, Frankenfish. Top speed. Top speed. First monster fish you caught was the Dendrofin. Very nice. Posted a Halloween vid. Posted a Halloween vid. Well, I post Halloween vids throughout the entire month of October. Doesn't mean that it's actually Fishing Planet Halloween. Um, I also fish for all the monster fish during Halloween, like mon like October. But you can fish for monster fish all year round. It just doesn't make any sense to me why you would fish for a monster fish outside of October or Halloween time. You know, it, just, it doesn't make sense. They make you play the game? Well, that's good. Use medium spoons, you cut plenty of them? <gasps> golden trout with gold plates, yes! Yes, a golden trout, just completely gold. Worth a ton of money. Can be the one mission everyone goes, I can't believe Fishing Planet did this. There's golden trout in the game and they each pay you $5,000 and you have to catch 25 of them to beat the mission. Like, that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe 25 is too much, but 10. It's 50,000 bucks, it's not bad. All right, let's change the time again. Change the time. Here we go. Um. Here, five. Nope, it's not. Mess that up. Mess that up. There we go. Here we go. Uh, hum, hum, hum. Come on, Sturgeon. Tarpoon is just a tarp. Just a tarp on a fish. It's a fish that's wrapped in a tarp. Tarp on the fish yes yes I have one word for you and that is yes a carp that is just one big mirror a carp that is all leather with like laces on the side like a football and then a literal ghost carp that's just a ghost that would actually be very uh, Halloween -y. idiots yes it Stay on the bank. 
Gotcha. Stupid. Why would you get hooked and then think, oh, I'll run on the bank. That'd be the best part to go. Yeah. Sturgeon are dumb sometimes. When are you going to Wisconsin? Uh, March, I believe. March. A bow fin with an actual bow for a fin. Aha, uh -huh, yes. I got gotcha, you, Seagull. You caught the dendrofin on your first cast? Oh, I know a certain pirate that would be very upset to hear that. Best way to catch striped bass? Ugh. I'm not really sure. It's been a long time since I fished for him. Last unique striped bass I caught was on a, uh, it's on a, uh, crankbait, though. But I bet you could catch him on other things, too. Medium spoons. Um... Buzz bay. I mean, we were catching a bunch of fish on buzz baits, so probably could catch one on buzz bay too. <laughs> and the small size turned into a big size. Ooh, cold swarm. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. A bass, but a, ba a bass guitar as the tail. Yeah, and you catch it and he goes, Bling! something like that. 146 pound tarpon. Whoa, that's a big one. Do you like the trains? What? Red drum is literally just a red drum. Dude, yes. Bull head catfish is literally just a bull's head. Bonefish all blown. Grass carp is just a bunch of grass. Yes. What's your goal for this year? Evan says. Oh God. Like as far as subscribers? I think we were hoping to get to 50,000 by uh by the end of December, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We're still 10,000 away. It's gonna, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. But uh, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, everybody, we're gonna have to do a uh, halftime show now, so enjoy it. We'll be right back. Easy Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a Hub Master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? Curse you, Bo! A fast ye matey! And now, a glimpse into the future. Easy Hub Halloween Extravaganza, featuring episodes of spooky games sure to give you a fright, and seven all-new monster fish missions in Fishing Planet sure to get every ghoul and goblin trembling, all coming this 2022 Halloween season. Be there, or be your food. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, okay. We're back. We're back at it. Catch a few more sturgeon before moving it on to daytime again. A cutthroat trout? That would be a spooky one. A chum salmon made of actual chum. That would be spooky as well. You're very ready for the Halloween event? I am as well. I'm just hopeful that I'll be able to play it, um, since I'm going to be gone the last week of Halloween, you know, uh, October. I'm hopeful that I'll even be able to play it. A rainbow rainbow trout, yes! All the colors of the rainbow, just down the side. Like Rainbow Road for Mario Kart. I'd love it. It 
see how many we can catch. That was like not a great time. <laughs> a wall eye that is literally just a wall with an eye on it. What's your favorite food? Mmm. I don't know. That's a hard one. Peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. You got school tomorrow. I I I don't have school. I have work tomorrow. I don't have school. An ocean monster fish. It will be huge. It will be huge. Yes. A sailfish with just giant sails from like a big pirate ship on it. All right, is that it? We just managed to catch one. Now you're all 57, right on, Ruben. Jasko, thank you for the sub. Bill sneeze coming on, everybody. Oh. Saved it. I saved it off. Saved, saved you all front. Okay, we're good. All right, I think that's gonna be it. I think we're only gonna be able to catch two. Let's move it on. What do we got here? Let's take a look. Okay, so I think, uh, I was eager to try out this sixth day for Steelhead. Maybe we'll just skip, we'll, we'll keep on skipping. Keep on skipping until we can get to the sixth day. It's the only day we haven't fished on yet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's fish for some steelhead. <laughs> Gotta go here first. All right. We got, you wanted to do medium spoon as well? You try the medium spoon. Well, that's a long cast. Let's not throw that far. Crappy, that's just a pile of crap. Just a bunch of crap. Well, 56, almost 57. Nice. You haven't played Fishing Planet in forever, Chase Lowell's. Well, what are you doing? You're gonna tell me you have more important things than playing Fishing Planet? <laughs> As if! A, ch a nice fat chub, yep. You're new, Michael says. Well, right on! Woo! Look at him, take that, boy! He's a strongin! Taking line out! Oh, he's a steelhead! Oh, he's a steelhead! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I knew it. I knew that the evening on one of these days was good for Steelhead. You all kept telling me to use the buzz bait, and I was like, yeah, the buzz bait's good, guys, but come on, the medium spoon. The Steelhead loved the medium spoon. We need to use that more. You guys just kept telling me, use the buzz bait, use the buzz bait. And I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Ruben, exactly. That's what I've been telling people. Use the medium spoon, but yeah, I mean, that's... You you and all the other ones kept telling me to use the buzz bait, and it's like, gaw. Just let me use the spoon, guys. Trying to use the spoon here. Panfish. A couple hours ago on Rocky Lake. Nice, Michael. Whoa! Another steelhead. You know the hot spot for steelhead? What in the world? What is that? Gross. Never caught an uni bluegill? I don't think I ever tried to, but I think we caught them just fishing for other stuff. Oh, another steelhead. Regular. Should we go up to the other one? Let's just see. I, I can't throw this one as good. Or, ca you know, retrieve it as well as the other one, but we'll try it. We'll see. 
catch the carbs. It helps you a lot. Well, good deal, Cole. Rainbow salmon as Halloween. Oh, we got something. Coming in rather easily, though. I think it's a bass. Yeah, I think we caught a little smallmouth bass. It'd be fun to catch a new smallmouth bass, though. He's just three pounds. Nothing special. Fresh water! Fresh water! Thank you so much for the sub. A sock eye with like socks coming out of its eye sockets. It sounds kind of creepy. Another bass. We switched to the six aught and we're just catching bass now. And we need to go back to the four aught. At least we were catching steelhead. We were at least catching steelhead when we were doing that. Bluegill with literal bluegills. A Chinook salmon that's literally like a Chinook helicopter that's also a salmon. Opposite side of the surgeon spot, like throwing to the boobers. The boobers. All right, Fran. What's up, YouTube wolf boy? Rockfish is just a rock. Steel, oh, for like a different version of steel, huh? Something just hit that. Let's move on to the other spot. Oh, thank goodness. Catch a few striped bass. Yeah. St stripped. Stripped bass. Bluegill with bluegills. Yeah. Love the con to help me a player who's never fished around. For fishing surges, the leader need to be stronger or weaker than one. Um, I mean, to have max drag, you should, it should probably be, as long as it's stronger than your, uh, your rod and reel, should be fine. Um, if you want to keep your sinker, then have it lighter than your main line. But honestly, I, I don't think it really matters all that much. Unless you, uh, if you lose your sinker, then yeah, you're out of luck. You'll have to get another sinker. Is that the end of the world? No, it's not. Another little steelhead, short and stout. Here is his steelhead, there is his tail. That rhymed, no one say anything different. All right, let's throw over here now. Why did you change from three bars to one? Oh my God, I've answered this so many times. Hey guys, here you go. Answer it yourself, huh? Little Mr. Miyagi here. What? What is the benefit of having all three bars there, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna pose it like it's a joke. What did the corn say when he lost his leaves? I don't know what to call it. Hey! God dang, did you take enough line out? Golly! Fishing! Got the Congo now, huh? Very cool. I can't even get Congo on this yet, because I'm not high enough level. Another little steel head, short and stout. 9.7. Man, we must need a bigger hook or something, because we're just catching... 
small fish after small fish here. Aren't we? Aren't we, though? At least if we use this buzz bait, we'll be using a 5 odd hook instead. It's a little bit bigger. Let's give it a try. I'll throw in this cloud, that way we can watch the buzz bait a little bit better. Red tails with red tails, yes. Short and stout, he raises fish, here is the head. Try setting it to W for Wombo. <laughs> oh, I love a good Spongebob reference. Makes my day, makes my day better. Like, oh my gosh, mobile is the best. It's got the same things as everything else. I am happy for mobile. But it's not like it's got everything. Like it's got stuff that other stuff doesn't have. Well, they're not going for the buzz bait at all. What's their deal? Am I right? Let's uh, let's switch to the chartreuse buzz buzzer. Oh, it's four out though. Drat sauce. Let's try a yellow and medium spoon. Maybe that'll make all the difference in the world. Spoon magic. Medium spoon magic. Oh, it felt like it got hit right there. Oh, thanks, fishing. <laughs> Best fish to go for at Maku Maku. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Arapaima are probably the most consistent that you can catch back to back. God, second time we got hit by something. Alrighty, well, I guess we'll go back to the smaller one. They're just so small. Every fish we catch is so small. Hey, you know what we haven't tried? Do we have a crankbait that's good size? Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> you have his favorite spoon? Yeah. It's usually the medium spoon, six, seven ounce, number six. But uh, I'm usually not using this rod. This rod doesn't do well with that lure. What is South American and fishing planet? Makumaku, Marone, Amazonian Maze. Another little small mouth. Small mouth bass. Apton, how's it going? Can we get to 100, uh, 100 likes today? Is that possible? Get to 100 likes. Hey. Hey. Like a striped bass, maybe. We're just staying underwater for a long time. That's a steelhead, isn't it? That's oh, a striped bass. Okay. God, for the last second, I thought he would look like a steelhead. Let's cast over here. You hate the bass not striped on San Joaquin. I hate the bass not striped. Just the bass not striped. 
What about root beer? Like beer that is all roots. Yes. I, I don't know who that is. Bob, Bob Nark? You have one of the biggest leg surgeons on Xbox? Dang, bro. We, you have the heavy chaser? Will that bring the biggins in? Oh. Let me show you. Let me show you a heavy chaser. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Right there. I got something better. The record chaser. Where is it? Can we even see it? You zoom in. Can you see that camera? Focus camera, focus. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. it says record chaser. Here, we'll make it bigger. Boom. Record chaser. Boom shakalaka. It actually looks a lot like the uh, the heavy chaser in the video game, which is pretty cool. Ah, okay, sorry. Show and tell moment. Addicted. What's going on? You need help, you keep catching cutthroat. What's wrong with catching cutthroat? 100 likes, did we make it? It still says 99 on my side. <laughs> Brands and fishing planet exist in real life? No. I think they just base them on other things. Catch a lot of unique stripers. Well, very cool, Caleb. You know, that is the one cool thing about Fishing Planet. Everyone has their favorite way of doing things. And that's really neat. You just made it 100, Julia says. Oh, thank you, Julia. Might have hit our fish limit. Might not get anything else. Got the biggest fish on. You can't get it off. Oh. Big fish. Ruben's gonna leave right as we catch this ginormous fish. All right, bye, Ruben. No, 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 don't stay. You already said you were going. You can't see what this big fish is. You already said you were leaving. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's huge. Oh, I'd, I'd hate to miss this. Oh, man, that'd be so bad. Oh, it's a oh, it's a monster record book probably top of the leaderboard Lane, how am I? I'm doing quite well. How are you Lane? YouTube will hide this. Oh, yeah, we'll hide this one part from Ruben Ruben will never see it because he was leaving Five seconds before we had it on no Ruben you must leave you have to go you already said you were leaving <laughs> You can't stay to see it God he's so huge Oh, it's gonna it's gonna make me feel so bad that Ruben's gonna miss seeing this huge fish No, don't don't no don't wait on our don't wait on us, huh? You got better things to do Ruben. We get it get out of here We'll catch this big fish. It's fine <laughs> Watch it be 10 pounds. Yeah, the strongest 10 pounder in the game. Is this a steelhead? Because I thought it was a striped bass. It's a striped bass. It's gotta be. I'm ready with the unicorns. Watch, this is gonna be a big trophy. Just a big trophy bass. I'm ready with the unicorns, though. I got him prepped. He would have loved this. 
Oh, Ruben would have loved this. He would have loved seeing this. Come here, you striped bass. Come here, you. Get over here. You got him. We got him. He's a trophy. He's a trophy. Oh, but he's not. He's a 40 pound unique striper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my goodness gracious. Baby. Oh, baby. We got him. He's down for the count. What do you think there, he nail? What do you think there, he nail? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hayden Ball with the sub thing. Yup, Hayden? Wow. Wow. That's a monster. He's a monster. Yep, probably top of the leaderboard. 40 pounder. Definitely. I don't even know where the. But <laughs> let's see where the leaderboard is for these fish. It's probably gonna go to like 45, 46 pounds. We're nowhere close. Um, why did I go to the W's? Striped. Striped bass. 54 pounds! My god, they get so much bigger. Ah, oh, so we were pretty close to the number one spot, I guess. No, no, no need to uh, look into it anymore. But yeah, we were pretty close. <laughs> well, cool! Need a Frito. Use a fishing, can you help me? For some reason it won't let you use a fishing? What are you talking about, Hayden? Do you need to watch our all rod setup video? Figure out what you're trying to do. You just hooked up a tarpon? Well, there ain't no tarpons here. But well, good luck trying to catch a Chinook salmon in blue crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I can catch it here. I can catch it here. It gets real deep right here. It is six feet down. It's like, it's like 12, 14 feet deep right here. <laughs> There's a fish following it. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> ah, what a silly goober. Yes, silly goober. All right, top notch. Should we go on to the next day yet? They got 18 minutes. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. They can't make me. All right, we still need to catch a steelhead. Come on, steelhead. Show us your steelheads. Oh, did you? Not a blue crab. Not a blue crab. Can't do it. It's impossible. I don't know how to assemble one. But you need to watch our all rod setup video, Hayden. It'll help you out. Get started. Shows you how to set up spinning rods, casting rods, bottom rods. If it has rod in the name, that video shows you how to do it. Gatorade or monster? Gatorade. Tell you what, we're only catching striped bass with these crankbaits. What's the deal? What's the deal? Ants in my eyes, Johnson. Steelhead, medium spoon, nymphs, sheds, crankbaits. I, I I got a big I got a big. Okay, let's try that. I got a big nymph. Where are you? There you are. All righty then. Steelhead City, here we come. <laughs> How's your day, Andrik says. I had a pretty good day. How was your day? Just caught three tarpon with the buzzbait. I just caught four tarpon with the buzzbait, so you didn't see it, but I did. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but honestly, it's not a big deal to me because, like, I do that sort of stuff all the time, so it's like a normal day. Good. Oh, good, Andre. 
I'll get the DLCs. Did you buy it? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Fishing with Genius? How do you get the DLCs? Do you buy it? Uh, most of the time, people give us DLCs. We have really nice uh, members of the community who buy the DLCs and give them to me to try out. So, really, really neat. Well, that's no good, Eat. Hopefully she's okay. We're getting the help she needs. What are we fishing for? We're fishing for big ol' steelheads. I want them to get after this buzzbait. Are they? Are they, though? No, they're being freaking stupid. Have you ever? Ah, uh, it sounds familiar, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. Oh. Oh. Ha ha ha! Hilarious, Yeet. I tell you what, when I think of the funniest thing I can think of, my mind immediately goes to my grandma getting hit by a bus. No, it doesn't. Because only a psycho would think of that. Yes, yes, psycho! Taven saves us out. Take care. Hey, thank you, Taven. You as well. Oh, you're gonna miss this huge fish. <laughs> this is super small, small one. Okay, fine. You talked me into it. We're going back to the freaking medium spin. <laughs> Never caught a steelhead above 15 pounds with this darn thing, but we'll go back to it. It was sure catching them. The hash slinging, mash singing, clash ringing, slasher. Has the Halloween event started yet? No. I mean, if you if you want to know when the Halloween event's going to start, go to Steam or uh, or Google Halloween Fishing Planet. Look up when their last status update was, whether it be October twenty first of twenty twenty one or whatever. They're going to do it the same time this year. So if it's Oh, there's a little fish. Go for it, steelhead. Ah, oh, he missed it. Dummy, it was a freaking striped bass anyway. Didn't want striped bass. Do you like rock or only lo-fi? I like rock too. There's just not a lot of good, uh, not a lot of good uh, free, uh, royalty-free rock music. So I usually just play lo-fi. And lo-fi doesn't really, like, fight for your voice. Not like banging drums and guitar solos going... And I'm over here like, hey, Julia, how you doing? You know, so... Hundred pound bull shark, oh my gosh. The biggest fish ever. What rod are we currently using? I think it's the Loki. Pretty sure anyway. The Loki, eight foot ten with the Hornet Swarm six thousand and uh, twenty six point six pound braid. Yes. Go to the dam. That's the hot spot for the steelhead. But this is where I've always caught my unique steelheads. They're just not wanting to play today. Oh my gosh, there it is. The unique steelhead that I was just talking about. We finally caught him. I'm kidding. I don't know what it is. Trophy striped bass. No, oh, it is a steelhead. I just doubt it's a unique one. 
Well, I thought it was going to be a pretty good size one, judging by the uh, the way it took it. But it's only nine pounds. What the heck? I was really hoping for a big fish. <laughs> All right, Reuben. We'll try out your 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 damn hot spot. Look at all that water moving from all those steelhead just bashing their steel heads against the dam evidently hunting mississippi for the first time uh look for deer definitely look for animals don't shoot people I had an eight pound trout yesterday. Very nice. Waza. Here all the crab just joined. What did you miss? Just a lot of fish. A lot of fish we've been catching. Not there. Go to the edge. What, what, do you, what edge are you talking about? Yeah, he wants me to go to the damn hot spot. He's cursing at us now. Ruben tells us that we're supposed to go to a hot spot, but then he can't even tell us where it is. Oh yeah, you go to the hot spot. Um, it's over by the dam. Um, you know, you just go over there and you catch him. Oh, they're going to be everywhere because it's the hot spot, you see? Behind you. Oh, uh, whoa, it was behind us the whole time. In here? Any Chinook is a great XP grind. Is it? Is it, though? When's your birthday? Pearl Harbor Day. Is this the best spot in Fishing Planet for XP, in your opinion? No. No way. Probably the same as before, Steve. Stefan. Ah, oh, there's no steelhead here. They're no, 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 a hot spot. No hot spots around here. No hot spots. Keep walking forward. I suppose you're gonna tell me to 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 cast out next to my my markers now, huh? Is that what you're gonna tell me? Oh, just cast out to where you already have markers for fish. Now that's where the hot spot is. Sure. Seen this a hundred times. <laughs> what a character that Reuben. What a character. Left. Right over here? Is where you talking? This is the hot spot. We found it. We found the hot spot. Steelhead after steelhead. Prepare for steelhead Darbageddon. Steelhead again. We're gonna have so many steelhead. We're not gonna know what to do with them. What are the coins for? They're to get special gear or to switch time immediately, so you don't have to wait to change time. Or you can get barbels hooks, or get special lures. How much line do you have on that? Evidently, nine hundred and eighty-three feet. Tried the whole Sturgeon XP grind and wasn't a fan. Okay. Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. We had the same birthday. Aww. That's cool. 
My god, the steelhead are so thick in here. I feel like every time I cast, I'm like hitting one on the head. Yeah, they're everywhere. I. <laughs> Enil's arms are killing him, Ruben. It's so tiring reeling in all of these steelhead. Ugh. Uh, this is honestly one of the rare times where I feel bad for Hino, having to reel all these fish in. He looks so tired. Guy that can handle ginormous fish. But, but right now, oh, he's looking pretty tired. What's my favorite spot? Oh my god. Probably a uh, nice ice cream shop on a, on a Saturday night. Hey, that's a steelhead, Reuben. We caught one. We caught a steelhead, Reuben. That spot's hot. Oh God, we just found a big hot. Uh, it was a spot that's hot. Oh, he's a, he's a unique. Oh, he's a unicorn. Look at him go. You can see the little horn on his head. Come here, come here, little guy. Come here. Oh, an X marks the hot spot. A 12 pound steelhead. Yes, yes. All right, top notch. That be the hot spot right there. We got it. A, A plus. You live in Idaho. I hear you have potatoes there. That's nice. Oh, oh, this guy is right. You got hit by something. Probably another steelhead. What's in Idaho? Potatoes. I already told you that. You only have one rod? Hey, I remember when I had one rod. One rod. Unreal. That's how I roll. Come on, Steelhead. Fish to the right of the rocks on the left? What if I fish to the left of the rocks on the left? Am I blowing people's minds right now? Uh, 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 he's been fishing on the right side the whole time. What? Uh, uh, he's fishing on the left now. <laughs> I see. I see. Nearly as good as fishing on the right side. Uh huh. What's the biggest fish caught in real life? I don't know. It's probably a big one. What rod should you buy if you're level seven? You know, Michael. I I feel like I, I, I feel like a broken record. But if you've already watched the uh, the all rods guide from BZ Hub, the next thing I would recommend watching is the series two beginner series. It'll literally show you all the rods that you could buy to level up up to level 30 and literally just follow along catch the same fish use the same rods and uh, before you know it you'll be level 30 it's a pretty sweet deal <laughs> just caught a smallmouth bass tip the steelhead are in the water oh <gasps> thank you you know what? I just wish all of you could be as helpful as Dalton him. You know, most of you are just spouting out questions and, oh, use this lure, fish over here, the whole time. You know, Dalton then comes in, has a genuinely good tip I, for everyone. You know, for every, everyone would catch more fish if they followed Dalton Nim's instructions. I just love how, like, literally, like, right as I read that, I cast it out so far that I missed the water. <laughs> it was perfectly timed. <laughs> it's 
Series 1 was classy. It was a classic. A classic bit of cinema history. You caught in real life. Oh, well, I got some for that too. Pay attention. Pay attention to the automatic answer. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we at least caught one steelhead. That was nice. You know, better than not catching any steelhead. Let's go try somewhere else. Oh, a great white shark weighing 2,664 pounds. Nice. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it someday. We have to cut the line. Oh, no. I know the secret. I know the secret to getting big alligator gar out of the water. I know it. <laughs> How? How? Just gonna have to wait and see. Gonna have to wait and see. Wait, wait until the video comes out. What's the secret? What's the secret? I'll ruin the video if I tell you, so I'm gonna have to keep it to myself for now. Oh, is this gonna be a small mouth bass? It's pretty small. It is! Righto, righto. Got him. Got him. <laughs> you have no landing nets. Uh, you don't need a landing net when it comes to the alligator guard. No nets. Don't need a net. Large cut bait is the secret. Yeah, you lure them onto the bank with large cut bait. Idaho is known for the giant trout. Well, shh. yeah, if I fed a bunch of trout a bunch of potatoes, they'd probably get big too. That's cool though. I should go to Idaho and catch some big trout sometime. Get a baked potato. Oh, got hit right at the end by another smallmouth bass. Golly, bro. It is with these smallmouth bass today. They are just, they are just on one. All right, Steelies. Hey, got something on, something on. Not pulling out a lot of line, but we got him. The pier is nine foot. I couldn't reach it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not sure it would work that well. I mean, that'd be a long way to pull it up. I'm sure you could do it. But it would take a lot of it would take a lot of effort. <laughs> Part of the Snake River. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Taking a mental note. Let's try. Show to try crankbait. I don't know. Maybe catch another striped bass or something. Do I know that the 47 pound Kansas state record carp was caught in Kansas? I mean, I never really thought about it, but I would assume that the Kansas state record carp was probably caught in Kansas. Yes. It, it does not need to be titanium, Grant. No. 
A little striped bass. Being a little annoying. And I tell you what, one thing I am kind of curious about is when they update the fighting in this game. I'm really curious to see what that's going to be like. Have you bass fished during the winter? Ruben, um, you know, I put out a video uh, a while back. It was on my TikTok, actually, of uh, one issue that you have bass fishing uh, in the winter. It's pretty, it's only like 20, 15 seconds long. If you ever want to go on the old BZ Hub TikTok and watch it, it's worth it's worth a chuckle. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. No. Don't tell me that, Dalton. You're just gonna start now. I'm gonna be thinking about that all night I, I all night long. <gasps> Was that a steelhead or a stripe? I tell you what. I'm getting sick and tired of looking out at these striped bass and steelhead and not knowing which one I have on. Well, it was gray and white. That's all I could see. What are you? Coming over the top? Oh! Right as it jumped! Ah! Oh, sure is swimming fast. I hope we got a unique steelhead. That's what I hope. And when I think about a steelhead, I hope it's a uni. And if we caught a unique steelhead, I will be real happy. And that is what I hope to see. So I'm going to reel in this steelhead. We're going to get an uni, an uni, an uni. It's only a 12 pounder. What is the deal with you, steelhead? Huh? Huh? I feel like they're broken. Are you broken? Broken right now? I swear. What is the deal? Let's look and see. That's a pretty fish. Goodness gracious. Steel like a historic steelhead. The heck? Hey, there we go. I caught it on a buzzbait. I knew I should be fishing with buzzbaits, but you all said to fish with medium spoons. And here we are fishing with a medium spoon. I know sometimes I gotta trust my gut, not listen to you all. I always catch them on the blah blah blah. I always catch them on the blah blah blah. blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 300 plus pounds? What? Should you buy a feather light for 3,000? I don't know, Michael. Should you just go watch the BZ Hub Beginner series so that you don't have any more questions and everything gets answered? Why sturgeon in this game so small? Why sturgeon in this game so small? Uh, it's because they're uh, connected to a map that's lower level. And if you are a low level player and you get into a fish of that size, then it'll run out all of your line and you will not be happy. So they only put in sturgeon of a certain size so that you can reel them in and that way they can put out a map later on that has a full size sturgeon and you'll be well prepared to fish for it. <laughs> What's up? What rod do you use? Right now we're using the Loki spinning rod. Thank you, Dalton. Come on, Steelies. Pound bass is spooked during winter. Very cool, Reuben. What's best bait for gar? Uh, I think I catch a lot of alligator gar on crawfish, actually. What's their deal, am I right? Why aren't they going for it? 
Does it tell us any more information about this? San Joaquin Delta. That's it. That's all we get. Okay. I get it. Don't want me to catch another one, huh? Can't tell me what time we caught it or anything like that. Seven hundred to three thousand pounds. That is quite. That is quite a, a scale. Hey, Chinook salmon. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean the last fish I caught here in Kansas. Yeah, it was probably between. Oh, just based off of me trying to guess, I would assume probably between four and fifty pounds. So, you know, pretty close. Bruh, bruh. Um, type of songs do you listen to? Random question. Um, I have a bunch of different songs I listen to. I don't know. I, I really don't stick to a genre. Sometimes I'm listening to Bruce Springsteen. Other times I'm listening to... I don't even know. I'm trying to think at the moment. What do I listen to? It's like <laughs> hip hoppy rock stuff. Lately, I haven't been listening to any music. I've been listening to uh, spooky stories. Which is part of the reason why I ended up writing my own spooky stories. Because I started listening to so many spooky stories, I started coming up with ideas for Fishing Planet spooky stories. So then I just started writing my own spooky stories. <laughs> Get in here, striped bass. Eat some food and relax watching the stream. Little Rocky, that's awesome. I am glad to hear that, little Rocky. Is Andrew Baggersy any good? Sure, if you want to catch a big Wells catfish and, um, I don't know, catch a bunch of carp and stuff that you're not used to catching. Might be a good spot for that. Might be a decent spot for that. Three minutes left. Three minutes left. And Drick is gonna go, all right, take care. I'm gonna be going in three minutes anyway. How was your first day? It's a good question. How was your first day, Little Rocky? <laughs> was it a little rocky, but good? <laughs> I don't know how that been, Tank, sorry. What's your biggest fish? Can't show you. Can't show you. It would be a uh, spoiler. Ah, oh, that was a good sized fish. And Leo is run on. Classic car shop. Very cool. What other games do you play? Oh, it would be easier if I just took a picture of all the games. I think we will end up doing a Fallout 4 series, though. I think just something to keep my sanity and maybe bring in uh, another audience or something like that into the BZ Hub. I feel like I'm kind of... I've, I've reached the top of what Fishing Planet is going to give me, and now my channel's just kind of growing at the same speed as people joining Fishing Planet. Um, so I might have to branch out to some other games to try and get some other people to uh, join the channel. Alright, this might be our last cast here. Gonna be a good one, casting out towards the grass. Out towards the grass. White colored lures in winter. That because the white reflects the light well in winter time. Wow, what a monster, Smalley. 
A monster smally to end it with. Wow. He's so big. 2.847 pounds. Oh, he's massive. So big. Davion. Davian. Is it Davian? Davian. 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 Right on. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you guys. Made my day even better. Good vibes to the BTF community. Thank you, little Rocky. Anyway, this has been great, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Really looking forward to the rest out of the BZ Hub Halloween extravaganza. We have a lot more fun stuff in the future once they start this fishing planet Halloween thing, which I assume will probably be like ugh, the week of Halloween and then go like two weeks beyond it. Don't ask me why they do that. Why would we want to do a Halloween event that ends two weeks after Halloween. I don't know. Sounds stupid to me. Um, but that's just the way it goes. Um, <laughs> see you later, Ruben. Uh, but yeah, uh, tomorrow we actually have a new game called Witch Hunt, which is actually pretty fun. A Witch Hunter? Something like that. Anyway, I thought it was a really fun little game, and it, there's some funny spooky parts in it, but basically you're playing as like this 18th century hunter with a musket and a uh, like black powder flintlock pistol and stuff like that and then you're like hunting a werewolf and other spooky things it was really fun and there's not enough games that like have old you know guns like that so i thought it was pretty cool anyway look forward to that coming out noon tomorrow look forward to it but till the next stream everyone take care as always uh, join us next live stream. Like, subscribe, yada yada. We'll catch you next time. See everybody. Bye. Planet One Family. Game on.